Hey everybody and welcome back to how to build a job board with formidable forms. In the last video, you learned how to allow job posters to edit their job listings after they've submitted the form. In this video, we're going to learn how to use views from the last lesson to create a more robust user experience for the users by giving them more than just a table of all of the listings that you see on a single page. We're going to go to Forms Views and we're going to create a brand new view and call it Job Listings. We'll use entries from job posting and we're going to make this view format dynamic. You'll notice that when I select both or dynamic, a new tab comes up. So what we're going to do here is use the listing page tab to create a view for how a job listing should look or a multiple listing should look. And then when a user clicks through to the detailed page, that's what we'll build out on the detail page. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to create a list of all of the jobs and some extra information for the users to view. I'm going to add the job title, a at, and then company name. One thing that we need to do in order to properly link to our job is use the shortcode detail link. So we're going to copy this and we're going to go to the text part of our editor. And here we're going to add the HTML anchor tag to properly link to our job listing. So now our link is being properly called. The last thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a horizontal line underneath the job listing. And actually we'll make this more than a paragraph. We'll make this a, uh, uh, a heading tag, just so it's a little bit bigger so it stands out. You, of course, can add your own CSS if you'd like uh, to properly style these pages. Uh, you can do something like add a div around the uh, listings page. So we can do something like div class equals job listings. Actually, we're going to want to put this uh, before the content, right? Since uh, we don't want each job listing to be its own. We would want to add this in the before content and the closing div in the after content. So this will be our listing page and then our detailed page uh, will get a, a little bit more information, right? So what we'll do is we'll grab the job title at company name again and we'll make this the heading. And then we'll list some more information about the job, right? So we want this to be a paragraph uh, or we want this to be some extra information. So type. And then we'll put in the job type. And location. Or maybe maybe we'll put these on the same line, right? So location. And then we'll put in the location. Then we can add the job description and we'll add we'll maybe bold the word description here so that it's a little bit clearer for the user and we'll link to the company so learn more about company name and we'll add the link and the link will be the company URL, right? Which is going to be 84. Now WordPress is gonna yell at us about this because 84 is not a proper link, but if we look at the source, we'll just make a quick adjustment here. All right, so now here's a detailed page. Maybe the last thing that we wanna do is add the logo, right? Maybe we want to, uh, float or left align the logo. What we'll do is we'll click image 
enter the URL of the image. The URL of the image is going to be the company logo short code, which is 85. We'll click OK. Enter description for the image, logo for, and then we'll add company name. And so we have image source 85, alt logo for 83. Align left, company logo. And we'll click update and then we'll go back to our jobs listing page. All right, so that's better. Now we're not, we're not seeing it float. Uh, our classes are being applied, but this theme does not have uh, the proper styles in place. So again, we would have to add our own CSS here if we want the logo to float right. The other change that we might make here, right, is the description is bolded, but it's showing up on the same line as type and location. So uh, we'll go back and fix that and explicitly make that a paragraph. Because uh, that's the other thing. We want everything to be properly spaced and looking good. So we'll go to our detail page and we'll just do this in the text view. We'll make sure that this is description is explicitly a paragraph. And we'll do the same thing for the link just to make sure. Again, we want to be very explicit here. And again, you can go ahead and add classes to these paragraphs as, and, and style them uh, any way you'd like to make sure that, you know, you're getting the uh, exact display that you're, you're looking for that fits your theme. All right, and that's looking much better. The last thing that we're going to do here is add a search to our page. So we have our view. And Formidable Forms makes it very easy to add a search. Uh, you do have to add the search on a view page. So the, the search is smart enough to know it's looking at a view uh, and to search that view. So we'll click Forms. We'll click Search to add a search form. We'll say Use Formidable Styling. And uh, the ID of the page with the search results, we can leave this blank and it'll just use the current page. So we'll click add into post. Maybe we can add our, uh, our horizontal line here. Oh, nope. We'll add our horizontal line uh, to separate our search and we'll add a heading too. So we'll say search. And all jobs. We'll click update and we'll go to view page. All right, so now we have all jobs and we and then we have our search. So if I search uh, developer, all right, front end developer shows up and then we can click through to that. So that's it for this video. In it, we learned not only how to add search to the page, but make more dynamic views that allow us to create a job listing where users can click through to a single view of a job. In the next video, we're going to make these job listings more interactive for the user.